sooner than Colonel Scarano and then you're after Colonel Scarano. Okay. Cool. Okay. Got it. Fighter Dominic Luna that will come and tell us a little bit about how we got to this day. So thank you very much for being here. Hello, good afternoon. My name is uh, Dominic Luna. I'm a firefighter paramedic with the city of Riverside, uh, stationed here locally at fire station number three. Uh, some may say chance. I think uh, through blessing of, of God and faith, we were able to be at the right place at the right time. And uh, I was able to meet Colonel Scarano's uh, daughter while I was off duty at my own house, uh, mowing the yard and doing some yard work. In the process, she came over, she introduced herself. She told me that uh, she liked my flagpole and had some questions about where I got it, who put it in, how much it cost, and then proceeds to uh, uh, introduce herself and tell me about her father, who is 99 years old, a World War II vet. So, um, I, I met her in the middle and I told her that I was a local firefighter, uh, happens to be right down the street, and uh, me and my crew will be able to come do this on our lunch hour. And so during our lunch hour, we came down, we dug the hole, poured the concrete, and then uh, the next day we were able to raise this flag. Um, the flag means a lot to me and uh, to my family. And I didn't think it could mean more, but after seeing uh, the excitement from this young man's face and uh, how joyful he was when uh, we raised that flag, I'll tell you, after Sunday, I got a new, new appreciation on a different level for, for our US flag. So with that being said, I'd like to uh, introduce you to uh, the, main, the main person here, Mr. Colonel Scarano. Good morning to I'm very glad we can be together in honor of this very important occasion. When I look at our flag, old oh, glory up there, I, the son of Italian immigrants, see the great opportunity that I have been given to live in this nation. The opportunities we inherited by those who preceded us by their sacrifices for the freedoms that we now have in our country. When I see our flag, I see the men and women I served our country with, their abilities you see beyond themselves and the self-interest to the greater good. I look at our flag and I see devotion in my country. I look at our flag and I see those who served. I see a country that has reached out to serve others. We are all put here on this earth to be able to contribute to better life for others, to build our societies, to enrich other lives. The volunteering of this staff, of installing it, has deeply enriched me, my heart. I honor our flag. In my military career, I have seen old glory fly over Okinawa and Iwo Jima, where thousands gave their lives, both instances. In many areas of international conflict where I witnessed acts of heroism to fulfill the mission our flag represents. I thank also those who served in the past and our troops who now serve. I thank Jerry and John's flag for their kind assistance. I am deeply grateful to Fire Chief Moore, Michael Moore, and the crew of Battalion Chief Hopkins, and Fire Captain Brian Davis, Engineer Eric Collins, Firefighter Paramedic Dominic Luna, Firefighter Javier Perez, and Firefighter Eric Gibby. Thank you. May God bless us all 
and may God bless the United States of America. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Well, good afternoon. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I'm Mayor Patricia Lock Dawson and want to welcome you to our city. But I also just want to express how humbled and honored I am to be here in the presence of Colonel Scarano. He's a Riverside story through and through. I know Colonel Scarano. I know his children. We went to school together. He was active in our church together with my father. And they were part of the greatest generation. And as we were talking before we started today, I was saying how just, I don't know, difficult it is for me to, to come to terms with very few of our children today, our citizens today, have access to the greatness, the character, and the integrity of people like Colonel Scarano. So while he expresses thanks, here for this flag, the thanks is all ours. It's all of ours to give. And it's really fitting that we should be doing this before Veterans Day when we must thank all the men and women who have put themselves between us and harm's way. And in a time when partisan bickering has become the norm and and we we see each other as enemies within our own country, we need to be reminded that we are all Americans. And we have people like Colonel Scarano to thank for that. And also our fire department and everybody who made this possible. So thank you all for being here. And I would like to call um, our city councilman, Ronaldo Fierro, to the mic. Thank you. My name is Ronaldo Fierro. I'm the city council member here for Ward 3, where we currently are. I also want to, first of all, pay great gratitude to Colonel Scarano for your lifetime of service. Um, special thanks to firefighter paramedic Luna, who, through this random act of kindness, has shown us how bound we really are. We're bound as Riversiders, we're bound as Californians, and most importantly, I think we're bound as Americans. And I think our fire department has shown time and time again they're community members. They're first responders, they're firefighters, they're paramedics, but they truly invest and care about this community. And what firefighter paramedic Luna did wasn't a small act of kindness, and they rarely are, because this act of kindness meant the world to Colonel Scarano, and obviously means the world to our city, as you can tell by the outing here. So I just want to thank Colonel Scarano for his lifetime of service. I want to thank firefighter paramedic Luna for going out of his way to create such a beautiful and wonderful moment so close to Veterans Day. And as was already said, God bless the United States of America. Thank you.